Hallo, hallo, Mic Test. Yo, and that's how we make a brilliant Python trading bot and use the pullback trading strategy smartly. We have a net profit of more than 130%, a CAGR of more than 35%. Maximum drawdown is not that high, which is around 10% only. This is a great trading strategy that we should be considering for analysis purpose and to learn more about pullback trading strategy. Thanks to the three-layered backtesting tool at TradeOmate. See, look at this, even I'm surprised. Hello financial programmers, I'm Ritvik Dashora and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. If you're here to know how I made this brilliant pullback trading strategy on TradeOmate.1, then yes, you're at the right place. This entire playlist is dedicated to TradeOmate.1, which is my platform. I started up this company with uh, Yashu and Satyam. In this playlist, I have made videos on Momentum Strategy, EMA plus Doji plus ADX, MACD, EMA, Inside Bar Strategy, and yes, you are wrong about the Bollinger Bands. In this video, I am again using TradeOmate.1 to revolutionize how we actually think about pullback trading strategies. And trust me, by the end of this video, you will definitely thank me. But before moving to it, if you're new to my YouTube channel, guys, on this channel, I make all the viewers to successful financial programmers. Here I upload videos related to making trading bots, implementation of AI in finance, using some highly valuable finance APIs and making some great trading strategies like this one. So if you're interested, please click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are many more videos that are about to come on this YouTube channel. And I bet you that watching my videos will help you upskill yourselves significantly. A quick disclaimer, guys, uh, through this YouTube video, I am not recommending any trading strategies or investment strategies. This video is only educational. I am making this video to help you how you can use TradeOmate.1 platform and make your own trading strategies. Please do detailed analysis before putting money into this particular strategy or any trading strategies. Cool. So guys, this is the platform, which is TradeOmate.1. The link is in the description section. Over here, just click on Get Started for free if you have not yet signed up. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already signed up. It will redirect you to the sign up page because I've already made the account. I am redirected to the app.tradeomate.1. These are some of the trading bots that I have made in the past. A quick overview of the platform. Uh, on the left hand side, you'll see dashboard, which is basically a page where you'll see all your trading bots. Builder, which we will use to build our trading bot. Docs, which is basically the detailed documentation of how you will be using TradeOmate.1. Discord channel, this is something that I highly recommend. It's basically, it's a close knit community of super traders and people who are very interested to collaborate with each other and with TradeOmate team to build something great on the trading side. So yes, guys, it's free of cost right now. Maybe, may become a paid service in future. So join it as soon as possible. Cool. So I'll either go to the builder section or directly click on the create new bot button. Right now we have uh, exposed the platform to Python bot creator. Eventually we'll have the rule based logic creator and some generative AI things as well. So please stay tuned to that. Proceed. These are some example strategies that you can consider while making your trading strategies. Again, not recommended strategies something which is very simple and basic to start with. So I'll click on EMA crossover strategy and then click on proceed. Perfect. The bot has been created successfully. Now we need to select the stocks. Right now we have Indian stocks, US stocks and cryptocurrencies in the platform. Over here you can see all the uh, Indian stocks. In the beginning I'll select say Bharti Airtel in this video. In the last videos I have opted for Reliance, uh, ITC, HDFC etc. So let's go with Bharti, Bharti Airtel this time. Perfect. So this is the EMA crossover strategy over here. Uh, this a simple code about it. I'll quickly skim this entire code. We have our own Python library called TradeOmate, which you will be using on the platform. This library has all required functions to make a trading strategy. The first function is for uh, providing your inputs. And the second function is for building your trading strategy. And then in the end, I'm plotting EMA using tm.plot. What are the inputs? Initial capital 50,000 rupees. Length for EMA, which is 14. Quantity one, we have stop loss and take profit as well. Let's do one thing, let's skip this first and uh, let's see how our trading strategy works without the stop loss and take profits. So yeah, over here as well, I'm deleting these two rows, right? Here I'm calculating the EMA value using tm.ta.ema and then on crossover, we are uh, buying and on cross under, we are selling, which is basically shorting the stock, right? If you run this particular 
code let's see what are the results cool so we are making a little uh, bit of profit which is 0.55% CAGR is 1.76% and that's it we have not done any changes in the code so this is exactly what uh, the trading strategy is present in the example code right over here you'll see this entire chart of Bharti Airtel over here you'll see the ticker of Bharti Airtel you can click here to change the stock again NAC is the exchange which is national stock exchange Indian rupee is the currency and this is the interval that you can select uh, to make a candlesticks chart so for example if I select four hours it will refresh it to build a candlesticks chart of four hours of candles as simple as that perfect so um, let's first understand what is a pullback trading strategy if we google pullback strategy you'll see these uh, uh, some of the charts like this one I'll, i think this is the good start a good chart to explain it so suppose there is an upward upward trend there are multiple ups and downs between the lowest and the highest point if we have a trend following trading strategy then we are just looking forward to capturing this entire trend in just one go uh, pullback strategy, uh, strategy is basically the one where we capture this upward movement and then the downward movement then an another upward movement then another downward movement downward movement and so on so we will take multiple trades in between and try to make a better return a uh, higher return than the buy and hold from the beginning till the end so that's a simple explanation of uh, the pullback strategy this is a great uh, uh, snapshot for the pullback strategy so basically to capture the the small moments ups and downs we would need two emas or smas right one would be capturing the long term trend and another one with the smaller length it will be capturing the short term trends and we'll be taking uh, trades on the basis of a mix of both of them so that's the main idea so all in all we would need two moving averages for the pullback trading strategy perfect let's come back here to the code that we have built the share price right now somewhere around 1600 rupees so let's increase the quantity to say 20 to start with right uh, config dot length is 14 so we would need two lengths let's call the first length as config dot MA1 length and the second one as MA2 length. The first would be a higher number, a bigger number, which is say 100, and the second one would be a smaller number, which is say 10. Right now, over here, say I'll just uh, copy and paste this here. Uh, this is the line where we are calculating the EMA, right? So EMA is equal to TM which is trade omit dot ta which is technical analysis dot ema data dot close and time period is equal to this one which is the input that we provided here i'll call it ma1 and similarly i'll calculate ma2 which is the same thing except the length which is length 2 now let me just do one thing i'll comment all these things or with, let's delete everything right now i'll make it again uh, and uh, let's just plot these two things just to understand the pullback trading strategy so tm dot plot and the same thing which is this one ma2 and i'll just write ema2 and ema1 this is red and this is say blue overlay is true for both of them one of uh, uh, the great functionality of trade dot one is we can actually provide the overlay for different plots separately rather than just providing it in the beginning so yeah i think let's do one thing let's run it uh, we won't see any trades here it will be zero percent profit but i am just interested to plot the two graphs cool as i mentioned there's zero everywhere because we are not taking any trades here we just zoom out a bit so we can see two uh, moving averages the first one is the average which shows the long-term trend suppose this in this example the red one is showing the long-term trend and the blue one is actually showing the short-term trend so for example in this area i'll just zoom it a bit yeah so in this area we have a upward long-term trend but a downward short-term trend this is the place which i would be considering for the pullback trading strategy i want to make a profit in this particular uh, case so i want to take a short position here and exit here right this is the ideal thing uh, for example in this case i want to take a long position here and then exit here and then short position here and then exit here and so on that is the ideal solution um, or ideal thing for the pullback trading strategy perfect so uh, i'll make the entry conditions entry conditions buy condition and sell condition cool so the buy condition should be i'll zoom this a bit here we go so the buy condition would be basically the close price should be greater than or above the long-term trend which is the red ema and it should be less than the short-term trend 
uh, or we would say the blue line so basically this is the place that i would like to take a long position at right if i take a long position here and I, and i exit here that would be a good uh, a great thing but to understand the exit for which we have two options the first one is closing the trades for which we would need to understand if there is a condition for it or second is waiting for the sell signal right so automatically the long signal or the buy position will be squared off so these are the two options we'll start with the second option which is an easier option we won't do any closing uh, for now if we are able to make a good strategy here then we'll stick to it otherwise we will uh, extend it to close some trades as well right so i'll repeat please listen it very carefully i will take a buy position if it is if the close price is greater than red line and it is less than blue line and i'll take a short position if the close price is is this is a good example yeah if the close price is less than um, the red line but it's greater than the blue line so for example in this case here i would like to take short position and i want to capture this entire short term trend cool so let's come back here let's make this buy and sell conditions so data dot close price which is data dot close dot i lock last price we can do this or we can also do last close as well whatever whatever you're comfortable with this should be greater than the ma1 which has a bigger length value dot i lock minus one and I'll just copy this and paste it here the close price should be less than ma2 i lock minus one i'll just copy this entire thing again for the cell condition the same thing except the signs it should be less than here and greater than here cool now if by condition then i would like to take tm dot enter long position quantity is equal to this one which is config dot quantity comma comment is long comma and yeah other things are not required so i'll just keep it like this only and similarly if cell condition tm dot enter short position quantity is equal to i'll just copy this till here and change the long to short simple now let's save and run till the time it is running guys um the, this particular code is available in the description section you can just directly click on the google docs and just copy and paste it if you're not following this video and writing code with me perfect so we have a higher cagr now and a better uh, net profit a very small uh, maximum drawdown but the number of trades is very low we'll have to increase it to at least 30 uh, trades win rate is decent now let's do one thing I, i'll uh, click on proceed to next step and go to the second layer of backtesting so yeah this is something that we have unique at radomate.one we have three layered backtesting approach the first layer is something that you already saw the second layer is this one which is uh, the place where you'll see the equity curve and on the right side you'll see the risk and ratio analysis you can see what is the sharp ratio comma ratio sortino beta which is basically sensitivity with respect to the markets gross profit gross loss etc this actually gives a very good understanding on how you can actually not only have a higher uh, return but also manage the risk properly and if we go to the third segment which is the third layer of backtesting which is scenario analysis over here you'll click on market trends and test the scenario till the time we are getting the results guys this is the most loved feature of tradeomate.one as of now people are literally using it on a very very frequent basis so what we are doing here is we are splitting this entire segment into three different trends market trends which are bullish bearish and sideways and we just want to understand if the strategy is only doing good in say bullish time or bearish time or sideways market such that we can accordingly reiterate our trading strategies to make it good for all types of trends and this is just the one thing we will have more things over here like event based scenario analysis time period scenario analysis strategy comparison etc etc so yeah please stay tuned to it right now over here you'll see we have split this entire graph into three different segments uh, the green one is the bullish trend most of the time the stock actually uh, have shown bullish trend only the red one is the bearish trend and the yellow one is the sideways market if we come here and click on this particular toggle you'll see all the trades which are happening in the bullish time bearish time and sideways market if you scroll a bit here you'll see in the in the bullish time we are doing pretty good in the bearish time and sideways market we are not doing pretty good although it's not negative still not a big green number or big positive number so definitely this is something that you guys should check it out if you come back to the second layer analysis you'll see orders where you'll have a detailed 
uh, knowledge of how different trades made different types of returns we had only seven trades here which definitely we need to increase but definitely uh, uh, we need a stop loss and take profit in the beginning i excluded it intentionally just to show how the stop loss and take profit can actually be a huge impact in the trading strategy and that's what we will be doing here we'll be including the stop loss and take profit now in the trading strategy so over here just come to the input section again so config.slpct which is stop loss percent which is say two percent and the take profit percent is say four uh, percent i'll change it to four percent and i'll just come down here in the entry enter long position market uh, function I'll just write stop loss percent is equal to config dot sl underscore pct just to make sure that i'm not making any mistakes i will just copy this and paste it here the same thing would be for take profit take profit and then i'll again come here copy this over here i'll just copy this entire thing and paste it for the short positions as well let's run the code and let's see what are the results cool we have lot many trades now although our cagr went down a bit uh, but now we have 67 trades from seven trades we have uh, gone up to 67 trades that's the mag magic of uh, stop loss and take profit levels let's do some changes here suppose the initial capital is a bit higher which is say 75000 i'll increase the quantity to 100 because the price is very small which is around six, 1600 only and we are making a good amount of profit so i'll just increase it to 100 let's see if you are able to make all the trades or if you are having any lack of funds in the trading strategy because uh, we are actually do, doing pretty good i'll increase both the stop loss and take profit to 2.5 and say 10 let's run it and let's see what are the results yo and that's how we make a brilliant python trading bot and use the pullback trading strategy smartly we have a net profit of more than 130 percent a cagr of more than 35 percent maximum drawdown is not that high which is around 10 percent only this is a great trading strategy that we should be considering for analysis purpose and to learn more about pullback trading strategy thanks to the three-layered backtesting tool at tradeomate Okay guys, so if you liked even one thing about this video, please click on the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, there are many more YouTube videos that will be coming on this YouTube channel. So make sure you hit on the uh, subscribe button and also on the bell icon to stay tuned on a real time basis. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to make any specific trading strategy. The code for this particular trading strategy is in the description, is in the description section. And yes guys, make sure you join the discord community and stay tuned on all the updates that we have on tradeomate.one the next video will be covering any other trading strategy that you guys will be mentioning in the comment section or in the discord server by directly connecting with the tradeomate.one team thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end you can click here to subscribe to my youtube channel over there you'll see this entire playlist of tradeomate.one and over there you'll see uh, the walkthrough video on tradeomate.one keep learning keep financial programming and i'll see you very very soon in the next video next saturday until then peace